Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are looking at the coalesce function on Power Automate. So before we begin, we need to understand what we're trying to achieve. Now in front of us, we've got a member variable and it's an object type. We've got an object come through of a name, which is Flojo, membership of null and a car of Jeep. Now imagine this is a car group and they just check in um, that the individuals of their group have membership. But for some reason, we've got a null value come through and we're trying to populate a dataverse table. Well, if the membership is of true or false and we're passing null, we're going to get an error in our flow. So how do we handle a null value being passed through to us? Well, we use something called the coalesce function. Now the coalesce function effectively allows you to pass in a type such as an object of membership and then you can provide a alternate reply if it is a null value. So it's pretty much defensive programming. What you're doing is you're passing through the membership into the field that you're trying to populate. And if it's a null, we're going to say this person does not have membership. And then we can go, go ahead and verify that ourselves and change that manually. But we don't want non-members to have access to our membership section. So we need to make sure that any value that isn't true that comes through is set to false. So if a null value comes through in this instance, we will be setting membership to false. Now we have a null value for membership come through. So the coalesce function will return false. Now let's see this in action on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate and we are within our flow. We have a manual trigger to trigger our flow. We have an object variable being created exactly the same as we've just looked at. We've got a name of Flojo, membership of Null, and car of Jeep. Awesome. We're then passing this into a compose action and into the coalesce function, and we are targeting the membership field. So we're passing in the membership field, and then we're doing comma, and then we are passing in false. So if this is Null, if this section here is Null, we are going to return a false value. So let's kick this off and see what we get back. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We've created our object and we've got a value back of false. So what happens then if we change this to true? We then no longer have a null value being passed through. So we're not expecting false to be passed back. So let's just kick this off and see what we get back. Okay, so we've run our flow successfully again. This time we're passing the membership of true and we are returning true. So you can see there that the null check has happened and it's not null. It's then passed through the value that we've passed through. So what happens then if we pass through false even though we have a false alternative? Well, what's going to happen then is it's going to check to see if this is null and it's not going to be null. So then it's going to take this value. Even though we have the option of passing false if it is null, we can still pass false through by ourselves. So let's actually just show you that this actually works. Okay, so then we've got a false value back, but this time we haven't got it because there was a null. We've actually got it because we've passed it through from the membership. And that is how you use Coalesce to do defensive programming on Power Automate for null checks. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.